Hello everyone, this is Ufon Media. Today we are going to review a DSLR lens which is very popular among budget photographers. The Canon EFS 55-250mm IS STM lens. This is the upgraded version of the previous non-STM versions. This is a telephoto zoom lens designed for all the Canon APS-C sensor DSLR cameras. That means it will not work on full frame bodies like Canon 5D Mark III or Mark IV and Canon 6D or 6D Mark II. It is comparatively smaller and lighter from the other telephoto zoom lenses. It starts from 55mm and gets all the way to 250mm and applying the 1.6 crop factor of Canon crop sensor DSLRs it will act like 88mm to 400mm. It has variable aperture from f4 to f5.6. As you can see, that's why when you zoom in all the way to 250mm, you will be losing some light, but you can easily fix that by adjusting ISO or if you shoot in aperture priority mode. Also, it is STM lens. That means it is better than the previous non-STM lenses. But you will be able to take full advantage of this lens if you use cameras with 12 pixel autofocus system like 7070d, 80d, etc. As you can see, it is very fast, accurate, and autofocus motor is very silent while changing focus. It doesn't even have the problem of focus hunting. So, if you are not 7070d or 80d user, then you can buy previous non HTM lenses. And if you are 77 and 80 d user, then go for this lens. Now talk about the build quality. It is made of decent quality plastics and glass element inside it doesn't even wobble. Zoom ring is very nice and smooth. Manual focusing is also attached with the STM motor, which is extremely smooth to use and when you adjust the focus, Front element doesn't extend, which is very useful when you are using filters. It also has image stabilization, which comes very handy for both stills and video work. Here is some footage with stabilization off and stabilization on. Now talk about the picture quality. On 24 megapixel Canon 77D at 55mm, F4 with chromatic aberration correction on, you can see it is very sharp at center and decent enough sharp at corner. Stop it down to F8, you can see it becomes even sharper on the corners also. You will get the same result if you test it at 100mm, 150mm, 200mm and 250mm respectively. Now. Look at the vignetting and distortion. As you can see, at 55mm f4 with peripheral illumination on, there is a little bit of distortion and almost evenly bright around everywhere. At 100mm, there is no distortion at all, and at 250mm, there is slight distortion with little vignetting but you can correct that on post-processing. Another major update of this lens is that its closest focus distance is 85 cm, which becomes handy for close-up shots and macro photography. Close-up image quality is very sharp at f5.6 and gets improved if you stop it down to f8. Only problem of this lens is that you will see lack of contrast and flaring when sun is right on your camera. Other than that, it works quite well against bright light. You can't get the blurriest background on this lens, but when you get the bokeh, you will see the quality of the bokeh is very good. All in all, this is a brilliant lens. It is best value telephoto zoom lens for any crop sensor cameras. It is very highly recommended. 
you can like and subscribe our channel from the link below to encourage us for more videos and also click on the bell icon to get the notification of our future videos.